how is it going? This is going to be a general reading for Gemini for July 17th through July 31st. It is a general reading so it can cover anything like love, work, friends, family, health, etc. So always take it how it resonates for you. And this reading is also timeless since time is fluid and relative. So for instance, this reading can resonate six months in the past, six months in the future. Um, you know, six days, six weeks, six hours, six minutes, six seconds, however you want to take it, okay? So whenever you see this message, it is meant for you. Also wanted to say that um, if you are not a sun, rising, moon, or even Venus, Gemini, this message may still resonate for you as we all have all 12 zodiac signs throughout our birth chart. So that's why I always encourage everybody, if they don't already have a birth chart, um, you can get a pretty good one even without your exact birth time online to find out your other placements, for instance. So you can also check out those other videos as well under your other placements and also read your other horoscopes. So uh, we're gonna get into your reading here in just a moment here. Gemini have shuffled all your cards and your oracle cards as well. Um, but we are going to go over some astrology notes that's general for everybody during this time period. So um, if you have already watched some of the other videos from this series and you want to just get on to the tarot reading or if, even if you're not interested in the astrology notes and just want to get on to the tarot reading, um, I will put a timestamp there for you in case you want to do that. But anyway, for everybody else who is, um, uh, you know, interested in the astrology notes, let's get into that here, Gemini, for your reading. Okay, and these are, again, uh, general notes that are for everybody during this time period. <laughs> it's a really cute doggy. Um, all right, so on July 17th, we have the first quarter moon. On July 19th, Vesta enters Libra, the sign of Libra. Okay, so Vesta represents aspirations, plans, goals, and it's going to be entering into the air sign Libra, which represents balance and um, also talking about issues with beauty. Okay, so there could be something around your aspirations, plans, or goals that might um, ring true also with some Libra feet themes as well during that time period and then going forward on July 21st Venus okay which represents love and assets enters um, into earth sign Virgo so Virgo is all about stability and organization so again there could be something around love or assets that's going to go more into um, the Virgo energy with that placement there all right, all the dogs are talking. <laughs> we love the animals over here. And then on July 22nd, the sun enters into Leo. So it'll be officially Leo season starting July 22nd. And then on July 23rd, the full moon goes into Aquarius. All right. And on July 27th, uh, Mercury is going to go ahead and enter into Leo as well. So Mercury covers communications, electronics, a lot of other things. If you're more interested in what um, Mercury represents, you can also look it up. You know, it is the ruler of Gemini, but it's going to be leaving Cancer and then entering into Leo starting July 27th. And then on July 28th, Jupiter is still in retrograde, okay, but it's going to be entering into the sign, air sign Aquarius. Okay, so um, not all retrogrades are bad, as we know. And Jupiter represents travel, big wealth, not everyday wealth, but bigger forms of wealth, education, religion, law, and Jupiter is the ruler of Pisces and Sagittarius, so it has that exploration, expansion energy to it. Even though it's in retrograde, it will be entering into Aquarius, which is known for its creative energy and um, its uh, general energy of um, not liking rules, okay? So there could be some themes there as well. Now moving forward, on July 29th, Mars is going to be entering Virgo as well. Okay, so Mars rules passion, creativity, and also our anger side, okay? And it rules um, fire sign Aries, but it's going to be entering into Virgo. So again, another earth sign that um, deals with general themes of 
um, you know, stability and organization, okay? Um, and then the very last thing I'll mention really quickly is on July 31st, um, Ceres is going to be entering into Gemini. So Ceres is an asteroid, it's not a planet, but it's big enough to be, um, have its um, effects felt by humans here on planet Earth, okay? So Ceres is similar to the Greek goddess demeanor, okay? So themes um, like nurturing, food, architecture, keep saying architecture, <laughs> that's not what I want to say, agriculture, gardening, cooking, nourishment, nutrition, and also themes of grief, okay, for some, um, because if you talk about the goddess demeanor, along with Persephone, right, Persephone gives up her daughter, and then we go into the, um, Persephone goes into the underworld, and we go into the winter months, the, the months of grief, okay, so for some, not everybody, and then the last thing on the same day, on July 31st here at Gemini, we have, um, the last quarter moon goes, uh, it's just the last quarter moon. I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> it's just, that's what it is, straight up, last quarter moon. All right, so, um, you know, last thing I'll say about the series, since it's going to be entering into Gemini, into your sign, there might be more talks, right, about themes uh, regarding um, nurturing energy, food, nourishment, cooking, gardening, um, the earth and nutrition okay so anyway let's get into your reading here and I also forgot to mention too that um, all the stuff I was just talking about as far as, as far as the astrology notes is in the description box below it's not my site but it has um, you know all the astrology from the beginning of January this year to all the way to December and even has the degrees in which these placements are taking and the exact time Okay, so if you want more info or want to look um, at the past or even the future astrology stuff there, um, you can click in the description box below and find that. And then the other thing I was going to mention too as well is, first of all, if you're new, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back as well. Um, I always take a picture at the end, uh, one photo of all of your cards that I will be um, you know, putting on my Facebook. And I also will hopefully be putting it in the video somewhere over here in the background, you know. Um, but it's sometimes, you know, not big enough to, to see the whole thing. So some people, when they watch or listen or even just at a later date, want to see that photo, it will be posted there. So you can always also go in the description box below and just follow the instructions there to see that if you want to. So anyway, with all that being said, yes, little doggy. <laughs> Let's get into your reading here, and I'm going to just move for a second because my legs are falling asleep again. So hold on. Okay. Okay, so Gemini, let me start by just calling out some of your cards here that we have for you here. Uh, we're going to start with your main six cards. So um, that's going to deal with the next two weeks or so, okay, of this time period, right, from July 17th to about July 31st. can be a little bit before or a little bit after each way, okay? But you have the Fool card in the reverse position, the Four of Staves upright, King of Cups in reverse, the Emperor upright, Eight of Cups upright, and Queen of Cups upright. Lots of cups for you here at Gemini. So... After we talk about those, we will then get into um, what's on the top and the bottom of each of your decks here. I'm using two different tech decks. And then uh, we will also do your tarot confirmation cards. And then at the very end, do your oracle cards. So anyway, let's get into it here. So um, Gemini, you're starting off the reading here, your reading here, with the Fool in the reverse position. So this is a general reading you can say a couple of different things. It could be that you're not ready to make a leap of faith with something, or um, you're having, hold on, there's the airplane one. Um, Gemini that you're having um, what was I saying uh, <laughs> having a hard time making a leap of faith with something 
or you could also be um, just making sure we're still recording. Yes, we are. Um, I guess that was my phone or something. Um, or you could be not ready to not care about what other people think if they were to think you were foolish or you think yourself foolish in some way okay um so you know there's a, there's also normally when this card is right side up in this deck um i'll just show you for reference there's actually um a tarot reader and she's pulling the cards and holding her own same card the full card and then in the background is the mirror okay so the mirror represents again um issues of ego and identity and how do you see yourself and how do others see yourself so there could be that kind of energy going around um, at the beginning time of your reading here um, and I'll get into more of it in a second but um, I also wanted to say um, if this is not your energy Gemini don't force it okay it could be the energy of a person or people you're dealing with an organization or your general environment situation all right so always keep that in mind as well All right, so going forward here, Gemini, with the Fool card in the reverse position as your first card, this is actually where my spirit guides wanted me to talk to you about what's on the top and the bottom of your first deck here, the ancestral path, okay, the, the main six that we're talking about. So this is energy from the recent past that can still be lingering around or why certain cards have come out, okay? So what was on the top was the hanged man right side up and on the bottom was the six of sacred circles or also known as six of pentacles in the reverse position so this could be saying gemini that in the recent past and what is recent you have to determine that yourself right it's going to be different for everybody but you were starting to see something from a new perspective and you were actually getting yourself um, a little more grounded in certain ways and there's the airplane again Gemini. Um, I was talking about the hanged man, right? Um, or the hanged one in this deck is what it's called. But um, yeah, so you were open to learning something or looking at something from a new perspective, a different angle. Okay, you weren't all the way grounded, but you were starting to think about how to ground yourself more. Okay, and then maybe something um, kind of a uh, not upset you but it could have because that's kind of what i heard but something could have um just knocked you off your track okay or knocked you out of your game in some way where then you weren't in the feeling of being as um grateful as you normally would be um about how much you know abundance you have in your life and and when it affects your gratefulness then it also affects your um your idea of charity and what charity is and giving back to other people in some way normally when the six of pentacles is upright or the six of sacred circles okay um so this can kind of be why again we have as your first card the fool in the reverse position okay so um hopefully you can see that here with the way i'm holding it with the sun and everything all right but hold on because you still have some really good cards here gemini um, and like I say to all of the signs at different points is that, um, you know, life ebb and flows. There's always good and bad. You have to take it all together. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. So um, just be patient because you have a, right here, literally your second card is already some nice um, change of energy. All right. So you have the four of our staves or four of wands in the upright position here. This talks about possible celebrations, okay? It's also a union card. There could be um, talks of a union um, in a romantic relationship or work partnership or with friends or family, a deeper level of commitment in some way. But generally, also, it just talks about being um, more vulnerable in your communications, more relaxed, more comfortable. Again, you see these, like, two Egyptian 
people talking here um, and there's like this party atmosphere and they've got the plate of the wine and the cheese and all of that okay so really nice energy here and also abundance and planning for the future now moving forward your third uh, I was about to say third cup your third card but it is a cup card is the king of cups in the reverse position so this talks about um, a feeling of possibly not um, not feeling enough support around you in some way, Gemini, or feeling like um, you're not all the way in your power with something, you're not emotionally content or happy or fulfilled about something here. Um, so, you know, since it is a general reading, it will resonate in different ways. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll get more into that, why this is like this when we get into the confirmation tarot cards as well. But let's keep going forward here. Okay, so your fourth card and another, okay, so you have like your first card, not the greatest, then you have a really good card, then you have like not the greatest again, and then your fourth card is the Emperor in the right side up position, which is a great card. We're just gonna wait for the airplane. Okay, I think it's that way. All right, <laughs> so back to the emperor energy. Um, oh yes, let me see what signs do we have. Um, well, this is Aries, the emperor is Aries. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, I guess I really only see Aries energy here. Um, so it could be that you are dealing with an Aries or if you have a lot of Aries in your chart or they do, or it can mean nothing at all. Um, you know, each card has different elements to it, so it has um, immutable signs and um, all the different cardinal signs and everything, so there's like more um, advanced stuff into that and, and it would take way too long for me to do every card breaking that down, so I kind of just stick with the major arcana um, zodiac signs that I see, but um, anyway, back to the energy of the emperor, okay, so he's very confident. He's able to balance his masculine and feminine energies inside of himself to be this king, to be a ruler, right? Um, he has the ability to see things from a higher perspective with the bird that's sitting behind here with him. And he's uh, very abundant. The only thing I can say about the emperor sometimes is that he can get a little bit stuck in his ways and a little bit lazy um, if you go, you know, on that other side or entitled, okay, with certain things. Um, but I really don't feel like that for you. I feel it's just more um, getting back on your feet, okay, Gemini, and balancing your masculine and feminine energies and seeing things from a higher perspective and getting more abundant and confident in some way. All right, yes, I just dropped the card there. But let's keep moving forward here, okay, Gemini? So your fifth card is the Eight of Cups in the right side up position here. So, um, and again, we're on the second row already. So this energy that we're just talking about with the Emperor could be more towards the last week of July or even the first week of April. April, August, oh my God. <laughs> August. Maybe something happened in April. I don't know why that came to me. Um, but uh, anyway, with this Eight of Cups energy here, um, this is you or the person that you're dealing with, a general environment situation, not making a good or bad decision, not taking any action at all, but just walking away from something, taking a break, a much needed break, okay? To gather yourself, um, to find your own answers. I also like to think of this card as similar energy to like the Hermit card, right? Um, so going within, taking a break socially in some way, and just, um, you know, a lot of times we have our own wisdom inside of ourselves. Well, we do, but also inside of our body, stored somewhere inside of our body. And so um, if we don't take that quiet time to access it, um, then, <clears throat> excuse me, then we'll never, we'll never know, right? And so a lot of times your intuition and your wisdom um, is the truest thing, you know, that you can access. 
So anyway, so someone's gonna be taking a break here, all right? And so they're trying to also figure out what makes them happy, um, what fills their cup, right, with the cup's right side up here, and also wanting to get away from any illusions with the moon really tiny in the background, all right? Now, before we go forward to your sixth card here, um, this is actually where my spirit guys wanted me to talk to you about what was on the top and the bottom of your other deck here, the Llewellyn deck, the one with the yellow border that I use for the confirmation tarot. Okay, so this is again energy from the recent past kind of still hanging out. So you have the six of cups in reverse and the four of swords in the reverse position. Okay, so Gemini, this could be saying that in the recent past, um, again, you have to ask yourself, what is recent past to you, right? There could have been um, some issues of seeing something from a really naive, childish point of view for some of you, and you started to come out of that with the six of cups in the reverse position. Um, for others of you, it could just be that you were dealing with someone from the past or issues from the past and you said no more, no longer, okay? And so you flip that energy and we're starting to let it go even before this energy of this reading, okay? And then, um, you know, and it makes sense too, right? When we were talking just r right before about the Eight of Cups, about taking that break to go off on your own and find your own wisdom. So maybe your wisdom told you um, to let these issues from the past go or people from the past um, or let go of that naive, childlike, um, childlike uh, naivety, yeah, of looking at the world or something like that, okay? But also with the Four of Swords in the reverse position, this is talking about um, needing a rest, okay? Again, a rest with the Eight of Cups, right? Um, and maybe you finally got all the rest, or you started, not got all of it, because you still, this is the present, this is the past, but um, you started that process of getting, trying to get more grounded, get more rest, you know, eat the right things, get enough sleep, take care of your mind, body, spirit connection, right? Um, and you were trying to get all the nourishment, okay? And it also, for some of you, it could be, if it's not talking about issues of rest or grounding, it could be that you, right, and when it's right side up, you put something to rest, you let it go, okay? Again, I keep hearing, like, let something go um, or let it stay buried, okay? But then with it in the reverse position, um, perhaps you didn't want um, to let it go or it tried to come back up and then you had to rebury it. Again, it is a general reading, so, um, you know, it will differ for everybody. But I just wanted to briefly talk about, you know, why this card is here and these were underneath. Okay, so moving forward. <laughs> Gemini, your sixth card here is the Queen of Cups in the right side of position, okay? So this is a really nice energy. This is your last card in the main six here. This is a very abundant energy. It's very Neptunian, Pisces kind of energy with this Celtic Guinevere figure here, but very poetic and dreamlike. But she, um, you know, is very um, abundant. She's trusting in the universe and the divine with even the cup here in the background and that kind of like religious stained glass window kind of look here, okay? But um, she's all about her feelings and she um, doesn't deny them but doesn't let them take over either. She just kind of observes them, you know, and processes the, her feelings, okay? So I think that that's very nice energy for you here. I'm just gonna wait for the airplane and stretch my feet for a second. Because my foot fell asleep. Oh, shit. Okay. Gemini. <laughs> Let's keep going. Um, as soon as I <laughs> stretch my leg. Okay, let's now go over your confirmation cards. So you have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse. Uh, okay, we're still recording, I'm just making sure. And the Tower card in the right side up position. So we'll go in order here. So anytime we're talking 
about the airplane. Hold on. Okay. Anytime we're talking about the confirmation cards, it's usually past energy unless I otherwise say so. But um, with this Knight of Wands in the first position, Gemini, this could be saying that in the recent past, there could have been some type of communication, like a medium-sized communication that you gave to someone or someone gave to you. What's a me medium-sized communication? Well, it could be like, uh, I don't want to have breakfast with you, but I want to have lunch with you. I don't know, something like that, okay? Or it could have been a, um, hold on, another airplane. the medium-sized communication right so if it wasn't a medium-sized communication between you and someone else it could have been a medium opportunity from the universe um, but since it's in the reverse position it could have been that that communication wasn't well received or it was put on hold or it didn't come through yet okay so that's generally that energy and also if it's not any of those things it's just stagnant energy right it's um, also um, not feeling like you have a lot of protection around you in some way, right? Because the knight is in his armor here. Okay, just stagnant energy, things not moving fast enough for you, or just old energy that's like not fresh, right? Okay, so when it's coming in here and it's confirming, uh, confirming an airplane, yeah. That's what the fool in the reverse position and the emperor in the right side up position. It definitely could be saying that the reason why in the beginning of the reading you weren't ready to make this leap of faith or to look foolish or deal with any issues of ego or identity was because um, you didn't feel protected in some way. You didn't have your armor off, off your armor off, your armor on, okay? <laughs> um, and so just that stagnant energy that we were talking about with the the knight of wands in the reverse now when this knight of wands is also confirming the emperor you could have used that energy from the past and use it as catalyst or fuel okay to get into the energy of the emperor be, being able to manifest and have your um, masculine and feminine energies balance and see things from a higher perspective okay so really nice okay All right, so moving forward here, Gemini, your second confirmation card is the Six of Swords in the reverse position. This is actually how you wanna see this card, okay? So this is, again, energy from the past that could have represented some type of um, betrayal or lack of trust in some way, and so you're slowly coming out of that energy, which is a good thing. And the Six of Swords energy in reverse is also confirming the Four of Staves, the Four of Wands upright, and the Eight of Cups upright. This is basically saying that the more that you can let go of any past betrayal or lack of faith in some way, or if it's not those things, it could also just be um, in the past there was a lot of mental confusion, anxiety, worry about something or being too much stuck up in your head, which can definitely happen more to the air signs, right, since you are a Gemini, okay? being in the air and the mental and the headspace, okay? But the more that you let those things go, then you can get into that energy of the four of states, the four of wands, which is talking about celebrations, union with somebody, um, communication. 
communication, being vulnerable, having vulnerable communication, enjoying life, okay, all of those things. And also, the more that you let go of this past, um, you know, anxiety, worry, overthinking, lack of trust or betrayal, okay, you can get into the mode of taking time for yourself, taking that much needed break to find your own wisdom, guidance and intuition with something and ask yourself, what makes me happy, what fills my cup, that kind of thing. All right, moving forward. Your last confirmation card is the Tower Upright here, Gemini. So this is, again, a little bit of energy from the recent past, but also could be a little bit of future energy. It's not a bad card. The Tower card is all about enlightenment, spiritual downloads, aha moments. I finally understand something. It could be a big change. It could be a small change. It really depends, again, on each person. All right. Um, and it could be uncomfortable at first, but it's usually for the better. Okay, so when you see that lightning hitting the top of the um, tower, that's your crown chakra that we were talking about, all right? So when this tower card is coming in to confirm the king of cups in reverse and the queen of cups, look at that, the king and the queen, one's right side up and one's reverse. Okay, this tower, this aha moment, I finally understand something, could have, um, in a way, for some of you guys, took you out of your position of authority or your, or, or your feeling of power or, or identity or knowing yourself in some way. It just changed some things for you. It changed possibly um, what was your priority or what made you happy in life the most important. Okay, so that would be right with the King of Cups in the reverse position. But then after taking some time and letting these things soak in and breathe and learn to work with that energy instead of pushing away, then you come into the energy of the Queen of Cups upright, being very abundant, um, being very poetic and creative, and knowing what you want. Okay, so very nice here, Gemini. So with all that being said, let's get into your Oracle cards. Yay! <laughs> um, so we're just waiting for that last, uh, not the last airplane, but we'll just wait for a second. <laughs> So Gemini, your first oracle card is the Rebecca Campbell card, and it is wait, okay, and there's this woman kind of floating in space here, and it says, it's not yet time, things are being woven. Oops, I'm trying to hold all of them together. So that could be a particular message for some of you guys during this time, and I did look up, um, you know, one little sentence here from the Rebecca Campbell book um, that goes with all the cards and all it just says is how can you slow down be more patient and wait all right so always a good lesson no matter what's going on <laughs> it's hard to be patient sometimes right and then your second oracle message your love oracle message whether you're watching for romantic reasons or platonic love or self-love or all of the above is give your relationship a chance work on your partnership. Uh, give your give <laughs> give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so whether it's romantic or platonic love with friends or family, it always is a relationship of any kind. Is two people, right? So it should be a nice equal give and take. And if it's um, about self love, you can always love your um, shadow self, right? And love the parts of yourself that people or society or whoever, even yourself, told you wasn't worthy. Okay. So that is one way you can look at it. And then your very last oracle message here, Gemini, is the tiger. Oh, it's really cute. It says, you're being called upon to provide leadership, 
so trust that you're capable of doing so. Um, I can't remember if you got this card last time or someone else, but um, I feel like this came up at another reading, so um, maybe it was yours. I can't remember now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so some of you could be called into some type of leadership role, um, definitely because you had um, both the, well, you actually, you had the king and the queen, one was reversed, one was not, but then you also had the emperor, right, the emperor in the right side up position, so I'll just put it with your queen right side up and your emperor right side up, so those are both leadership roles, all right, so anyway, that is your reading here, Gemini, <laughs> so um, thank you guys so much um, for all your likes, for your shares, for your subscriptions, I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed um, yet and you want to, it is free. All you have to do is click on the bell icon on the bottom right and make sure that it's active in blue. And then it'll just notify you when I put out new videos. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much and enjoy this time and I'll see you guys later. All right, thanks. Bye.